Recently, I watched a video by a user named James A. Williams. In the video, James talks about his problems with the Bob the Builder reboot and, generally speaking, while watching it, you get a good sense that James doesn't understand the purpose as to why people would reboot a series. As he spends 30 minutes complaining that the series doesn't align with the original run, complaining about the visual changes, some changes in the character personalities, and just overall what's different more than he actually spends time actually talking about what the series does wrong on its own. Of course, this isn't the first time I've seen this mentality. It happens whenever a reboot comes into play. People are always so quick to jump on a reboot's case for being different, which inherently misses the point entirely. I suppose I'm not an exception. I too, for a time, hated how Teen Titans Go went about doing its thing so much and reviewed three of its episodes in what would go on to be the most watched video on this channel pre-soft reboot. Hell, even as of this video post-soft reboot. I don't look very fondly on that video, mainly because I've calmed down from the knee-jerk reactionary bullshit that my reviews were based on from late 2014 to mid-2016. In fact, long-time viewers may remember a video that showed how much my mentality changed on the subject of reboots, as I made a video talking about how I thought reboots got too much hate. And to this day, that's still one of my favorite rants of the channel. I'm unsure why I did it unscripted and didn't really elaborate too much on my thoughts, so it's by no means a good video. Maybe it's because Pie Guy Senpai noticed me from it. I'd still be up for that discussion, by the way, if you're watching this. That said, considering I'm making a video in the same ballpark, maybe it's also because I'm still able to agree with the stance of my 2016 video that I still like it. And, well, I'm able to refurbish it into the video you're watching today. So, let me actually talk about the concept to reboots and why it bothers me so much that people are willing to jump at the first chance they get announced to call a reboot bad. Uh, don't worry, I won't dwell too much on it, it's just, this is something that I want to get off my chest. So, generally speaking, the purpose of a reboot is to take a show, game, book, or movie series and come back to it with a fresh coat of paint. Generally speaking, it'll be more modernized for a new audience. There will inherently be changes to give the reboot some form of purpose and reason to exist, because, let's face it, if you do just the same old same old that the last series would do, what's even the point of rebooting the series in the first place? That's not really what a reboot is set out to do. In this kind of an instance, it's important that you don't look at the reboot only in the light of what the original series did. I know it's difficult, but really, if you only look at it through the lens of what the original did, then you're gonna wind up like James and make what amounts to an everything wrong with video where you just nitpick the crap out of everything that differs from the original. Look at the show primarily in its own merits. You can make some comparison if you must, but a reboot is its own show. It's taking pre-established characters and settings and changing it in a way to make the show different. I'd like to give a few examples of what I'm trying to get at to expand upon what I'm trying to say, starting with the most infamous reboot. Teen Titans in 2003 was a very action-oriented show. Sure, it had episodes and moments of being a comedy, but these were purely isolated from the rest of the series, as the series in whole was very much a story-driven action show that spent more time in the tension box than the I'm gonna make you laugh box. In 2013, we got Teen Titans Go, which was out to take the name of Teen Titans in a completely opposite direction, being solely comedy-based. Now, I'm not saying the show is good, as I strongly believe the characters aren't nearly different enough from one another to make the humor work that often. The acting, despite having the original cast, feels very off from what it could be, and hurts the ability to react in a very comedic manner. And overall, the story of the week is typically written in a very janky way that doesn't properly set them up for a rapid succession of laugh-out-loud humor. It's a very lazy show that doesn't really care to exist for any more than to give Cartoon Network a big show they can run consistently, and to sell off toys. But notice how none of my complaints were strictly about the fact that it's a reboot in of itself. At most, I look at the fact that the casting that was already established pre-reboot wasn't up to the game with their acting, but that's it. I don't want to look at how different the characters are from the original counterparts because it's not important to me. I'm well aware they're extremely butchered, but I'm also well aware this is practically a different universe. The Powerpuff Girls reboot is rather preachy with its morals, can have a bunch of nothing going on at a time, thus making it a slog to sit through. The girls feel rather one note and bland, and the villains are easily forgotten without a trace or care in the world. Once again, I'm not going to complain about the show not having returning villains from the original series, because this is a different time period for the girls set in what could only be described as a different universe, similar to the one that we knew from 1998, but with differences that take it in different directions. On a different wavelength entirely, while I think My Little Pony is an obnoxious show with characters I barely care about and stories that are often hit or miss, I can enjoy the musical segments of the show and often really liking the times where they do hit home with a story I care about. And while I don't much care for the characters, I can still give the show major props in that department as each character does feel versatile enough to be put into the situations the writers need them to be in, and it works on that level as well as the fact that not all the characters feel the same. I'm not gonna get on Gen 4, as the MLP fanbase calls it, I think, because it's not like any of the previous incarnations, as while I'm not a fan, I can give it one thing. 
They put much more care into it than the 2003 or prior iterations of the show, as it feels like they actually want to tell a story and not just sell toys. Most of the time, at least. Same goes for DuckTales. While I mentioned in my review of the pilot, the original intro in comparison to the new remix, my primary focus was it as a show. I talked about its pacing problems on its own, but still praised the show for what they were doing in the writing department, as it tells a pretty compelling story with very entertaining humor. But had I had the mentality some people seem to have of, reboots must be like the original, I wouldn't have done that. I just look at the fact that Huey, Dewey, and Louie weren't total clones of one another. I'd have been annoyed at my favorite part of the episode because Donald Duck wasn't in the 1987 series. I would have seen Webby as as bad a character because it wasn't the same Webby from the original, despite the fact that I honestly think that the 2017 Webby is a much better character. Do you kinda see where I'm coming from yet? Just because the reboot is different from the original doesn't inherently make it bad. Of course it doesn't make it inherently good either, I'm not saying that. Just that people need to calm down when hearing a reboot is being announced. I do understand why reboots have such a negative stigma, especially after Cartoon Network pissed off several hundreds of its viewership with three of the four horsemen of the reboot apocalypse. I don't want you guys to think I don't get it. I just strongly disagree with the notion, especially considering we've seen plenty of good reboots that have done just fine. This was a rather quick thought process on what I really haven't liked much from the cartoon community as they're typically called. After all, this was made it pretty much in response to James's Bob the Builder review. That said, I suppose in this video I'm free to open the floor to discussion. If you guys think I'm wrong, feel free to tell me why. As for me, I got a review regarding a cat, a fish, and a balloon I want to do.